UTS and the Sydney Swans have a sports science partnership that's been going on for over 15 years now. And what we try and do is embed UTS staff and research students with the expert staff at the Sydney Swans in order to create some real evidence-based outcomes which really tries to support the decision making around player availability. And let's face it, we're trying to get the best players on the field on match day. The Swans have an amazing coaching staff and they work really well together collaboratively and I've been very lucky to have been a part of that and you can really see that the coaching staff is no longer really directing the players what to do they are creating and shaping an environment in which the players can develop optimally. Research procedures can enhance specific match day analyses it's to do with practice design and how we can help that during the week and make it more similar to what is actually occurring on the weekend. Every game, every training session they do is monitored. And when you start to look at the total work that they do, you can start to look at how much work they need to do in terms of recovery, but also planning sessions for optimization of training. The conditioning program is designed to help players be as fit and strong as possible. It maximizes the number of players that are available to the coaching staff uh, come game day. The players um, run out the game really well, they're strong, they're fit. Um, and they can do that for a full season. The research that some of our students undertake is able to provide some definitive data about match running, about the intensities that they perform in training and also in matches, and that enables us to really assist the decision making around recovery, as well as trying to optimise training to make sure that we're uh, supporting the best possible performance outcomes. When we watch AFL on TV, we often see the physical prowess of players, but often we don't think about how skillful they need to be and in the end AFL is a very complex game. There's lots of players on, on one field and they all need to make individual decisions that benefit the team and they all need to execute individual skills that also benefit the team. So it's incredibly complex and players have to be incredibly skillful just to be able to cope with the demands of, of playing this game. We're really grateful for the support that we received from the Sydney Swans in order to continue this sports science partnership. The whole staff in the football department across the strength and conditioning, medical and performance analysis department and also the coaching staff are really appreciative of the work that UTS students do and we in turn really appreciate the ability to be involved and embedded and to have this evidence-based partnership to continue and uh, for, for such a long time.